One great way to transform your flat and simple vector art into something that has more depth and interest is by adding texture. And in this video, I'll be showing you how you can add a grain texture to your artwork to transform something that looks like this into something that looks like this. And I'll even show you how you can create this northern lights effect with a gradient mesh and also adding the grain texture to that as well. In my flat vector artwork file, I want to first add some texture to my large mountains. So I want to make sure this object is selected then go up to my appearance panel on the right. If you don't see that here, you can find it under windows, just like all of your other windows in Illustrator. And then you want to go down to add new fill, select that, and then go over to your gradient tool, and then just tap on your object and that will add a gradient to your shape. So then you just want to drag out the gradient in whatever direction you want your, your grain effect to be. So. I think from the left is good and I do want the edge to be a bit brighter so I'll just drag out this white circle uh, maybe not so much and then the center is, it will help you create a smoother transition so I think around there is good and um, you can also adjust these settings in your gradient panel here next in your appearance panel you want to select I'll deselect the shape first and then reselect it and it should pop up here which is your new gradient fill with this selected, you want to go to your FX button here and then go to Texture and add grain. You can also go to Pixelate and choose Mesotint or Pointillize. These will give you some slightly different effects and uh, Mesotint will give you the option to create some larger grain, which might be what you want if you're working on a larger document size. But for this, I'm going to go down to grain. Now you see the different grain type I think the default is just regular, but my favorite is stippled. And now you can adjust the intensity and contrast to uh, refine your effect. So I like something like this. I'll click OK. And now you can select your grain under your appearance here. Go to opacity and just adjust your opacity so it's not so harsh. And I'll just copy this process for the smaller triangle. Now for the sun to add a grain texture that's on a lighter color, It'll be slightly different so same process in your appearance panel you want to create a new fill and then add a gradient to this fill um, except for the circle i'm going to go to my gradient panel and select the radial gradient and then i think i will just go from the right side and drag up like this and back to my appearance panel make sure that fill is selected go to effect texture and grain so now I want to select my fill, go to my gradient panel. Now this is going to seem a little bit backwards, but I'm going to select my white color and make this zero. So now this will be the highlight. And now I just want to decrease the opacity. So I'm going to go back to my circle shape in my appearance panel, go to the opacity under the grain, and then just drop this. So I think somewhere around 30 looks good. Now let's add the Northern Lights effect and add some grain texture to that as well. So I'm just going to add a new layer and make it the exact same size as my artboard. Let's make that a solid color and actually we want this to be a solid black. And now I will just drag this below everything except the sky and the, the black will be important because we will be adjusting the blending modes. So now with that object selected, go up to object create gradient mesh and I'll just leave the default settings that looks good to me and now with your direct selection tool just select whatever points you want to add some gradients to go to my fill and then just change this to white and now in my layers I want to make sure that the entire layer is selected and then go up to effect and texture and add the grain texture once again and now I'll just go up to opacity here and change the blending mode. Choose lighten, which gets rid of all the black in the uh, artwork, which looks good to me. And now I'll just bring down the opacity. And now you can still move these anchor points around and uh, adjust your texture. And now finally to add some texture to the background, I'm just going to go to my sky and I'll make it a bit more interesting. I'll turn this into a gradient. So I'll just copy this blue color. Go to my gradient, select my shape, go up to the gradient panel and just add a gradient this way. Turn this to linear gradients 
make this 90 degrees, and then I'll hit reverse so the black is at the bottom. And now I will make the white part 100% and then just make this the color, the blue color. And if you don't see this hex uh, code here, you could just go up to this flyout menu. It's probably on grayscale. You can go down to RGB. And I'll just paste that color into this field here. And now I'll just double click on the black color and make this a darker blue or maybe like a magenta. Now I'm just going to duplicate this sky layer then go to the gradient and make this black and white. And now you can add the green texture to this black and white gradient. And then I'll just go to my appearance panel and change the blending mode to lighten. Or if I want the black pixels, I can choose darken, which gets rid of the white. But uh, I think I'll keep lighten and then just bring the opacity down. You know what? Actually, I'll stick with darken. Darken looks good. And that is how you can add grain to your artwork in Adobe Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps a lot to support the channel and to continue making content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.